left one that flips, yes. This one, you wanna see it flip? Can you do it real fast? Whoa! Tell us about the journey. So it started with breast implants, and I was pretty much hooked. I said, ooh, plastic surgery is awesome. Like, right. wow. Right. So then after that, I had a tummy tuck, and the butt implants was the next one. How did the butt implant surgery go? You could tell it was something in my butt. It didn't look like a butt. What we call a contra-regular. You can see the mound of the buttock implant, and then there's a... You can see exactly where it stops. Where it stops, and then the buttock starts again. Absolutely. In breast surgery, we call that a double bubble. I have a double bubble butt. Right, double bubble butt. Basically. Yeah. About six to eight months afterwards, I noticed my right one flipped. It just flipped. It flipped. Generally speaking, I don't recommend buttock implants for my patients because, in my opinion, the risk outweighs the reward in almost every case. Did you go back to that doctor and say, these are flipping? I called him and I said, you know, my implant flipped. And he basically said, flip it back. <laughs> oh. What kind of doctor would say, it's OK, just keep flipping your butt implant around? So here's your situation. You have an on top of the muscle buttock implant that's very movable. The left one is a little bit encapsulated. And then in the inferior gluteal area, you have laxity. Oh, yes. Buttock implants probably have the highest complication rate of any procedure. And in my opinion, implants should be a choice of last resort. I think we can formulate a plan that could achieve your goals. Unfortunately, to do that, I think, requires a multi-stage series of procedures. One, take the implants out, let things settle. Mm. Two, you already have an incision that goes all the way around with the extended tummy tuck. Extend it further, lift the buttock up. That will completely relieve you of that dissociation. And then three, when that heals, put fat in there and give you more projection, just as long as you don't put too much fat, because it can be kind of dangerous to put a lot of fat. What kind of timeline would you say? Probably a two-year ordeal. Two years? Yeah, two years from start to finish. I would have never guessed it was going to be difficult to fix implants in the butt. That actually was the biggest shock of the day, hands down. I want to see the pec implants first. Do you sure. mind? OK. So you're happy with these, yeah? Because normally, the implant should go below the areola, oh. and it's sitting at the areola. And it might be even above. Let me see this. This, this is the good one. So you had the incisions made there. You healed those really well. OK. But you're right. You, this one, you can turn this way, too. No. Let me look. See? Let's see what the story is with this one. Oh, yeah. It does. Oh, it's flipping. <gasps> look at that. It goes, look, it goes into your armpit. So I'm glad I pass oh. out. <laughs> Are you OK? I'm yeah. This looks crazy to me. Listen, like, you're twisting something like doing cartwheels inside of your arm. Like, that's just, you don't play with that. God made you the way you are. You don't mess with that. Don't change it. Like, that's just too much. <laughs> Hello. Face, oof. That bugged you out, huh? Yeah, not, not a fan of that. Your face got a little white. Yeah, I'm, that bugged you. I'm not, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean no, to No, 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 you're good. No, I'm not happy. Sit down no, for a I'm, second. I spent a lot of money on this. I'm not happy. You're only two body parts into this yeah. body modification thing, and you kind of have issues with all of it. Mm -hmm. Those implants. They're going to move around more. I wouldn't be surprised they didn't end up back on your triceps or down in your elbow, or they're certainly already in your armpits. They're movable. They're flipping. This one I could flip in two seconds. I could turn it upside down. OK. Mm. I am in shock about this car wreck of news that I just got from Dr. Dubrow. This is not what I expected it to be. I thought it was a simple fix. I think you should consider taking them out. I'll, I'll think it over. I, I don't know what to say. I'm so at a loss for words after you did that. Like, I don't know what the to say. I think the point that you have to think about after you're not pissed is the continuation down this path if it's worth it. Yeah. And that's it. Our job was done here. Yeah. I just need to take some time for myself and think things through. I am so heartbroken. All right. <laughs> no, don't do that. Ow, 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 ow. Let's just do a regular exam on you. So pull up. OK, so and then push this way. Let me see this one first. OK, so this one goes up like this, and it goes around like that. But look at this one. Where is this piece? It abruptly 
stops here. Ow! That hurts. Mm -hmm. so Where is there? this? Is it Where bent on is itself? It? it must be bent yeah. on itself. So that's why you may be getting nerve compression. Aya's right calf implant is actually very concerning. It appears to be folded under, and when that happens, it could be a lot closer to the motor or sensory nerves that could be easily injured and give her a very significant problem. It looks like they put these in behind your knee on each side, okay? Big incisions. All right, have a seat, let me tell you. I make an incision through that scar. You may think it's a simple matter of just grabbing it and pulling it out. That could be buried right in a major blood vessel or a major nerve. And just by taking it out, it could disrupt a motor nerve and give you a potential foot drop or a problem moving your ankle, which is a disaster. You are instantly disabled. You wake up forever more disabled. Oh my gosh. Are you willing to take the risk in getting these out? Um, so I did expect to have a possible complication. I already replayed that in my mind right. many times. There's nothing that can be done but to remove them. I understand the risks involved but my nerves are damaged. They can only get worse. I want these babies out. Bye-bye implants. Bye-bye implants. <laughs> okay, Jabrina, stand up, and let's just have a look to see what it looks like in person. So is it, it's the left one that flips, yes? This one, wanna see it flip? Can you do it real fast? Whoa! Whoa. Look, 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 at, look, look at this. Here's the bottom of it. Bottom of it. Feel this, they're completely just floating yeah, they're just under in the skin. skin. Jabrina has what we call implant malposition. Not only are the implants in a pocket that's way too big, but they're in the wrong plane in the pocket, allowing them to flip around too easily. The problem is, if I just take the implants out, she'll have so much sagging skin and no projection that I'll be trading one big problem for another even bigger problem. We have to find a solution. So we have to take the implants out. I don't do butt implants anymore. So what are we gonna do with all that loose skin and the lack of projection? Traditionally, what we've done is make an incision across the lower portion of the back, lift the buttock up, and try as much as possible to get you some kind of buttock shape and projection. I think it might be a, a reasonable consideration to give me permission if I do find some tissue, some fat in an area, possible fat flap transfer and buttock lift. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want me to do? I consent. What do you think? Whatever you guys could do. <laughs> Y'all are gods, the plastic <laughs> surgery well, so whatever you can do for her. I may be a god, but he's more <laughs> like, you know, angel in a pink tutu or something. Oh, it sounds like we're ready to go. I'm in, I'm all in. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs>